Okay, we are recording, and what we're going to do right now is, let's see, this is going to basically, I'm going to kind of go from here to here. I'm recording. All right, so what I'm showing you is, unfortunately, I'm using a program called Ultra Edit, and it might have some cost, but I'm showing you in effect what it is important to learn and get a flat ASCII editor. I note, recommend Notepad++, as a couple other instructors have, if in fact you can, you can do two things. It can find carriage returns and tabs, special characters those are, and if it can do column names. I'm going to do that right now to come up with something called a batch file that we're going to use, learn to use in AutoCAD if you've got a, the same thing needs to be done for a lot of drawings. Batch files and script files I would not call a super advanced skill. I would call it a holdover for any of you that have been uh, working DOS in the past or ways to use Windows, but this is probably just a great DOS or Linux skill to have. So what I've done, and I'll show later, is I've, I've routed or, or typed a directory structure into a file here, which I call 11.lsd, and hopefully I've taken out the name, and I'm going to show you now by having the column mode on, I'm going to tear that down so I can end up with a set of instructions that look something like this. It's going to run a program and then take a file name into it and then run this setup, which is going to be a script file, which we'll look at when we're done. So by having the column mode, I'm able to go down through here and cut just to the point where I have all I have is the structure of the names. And I can delete out and I can go through and delete out a little bit more. So I've just, in this point, have here, and you see this person did a nice job of not having any spaces. If there were spaces, you would have to put quotes in it around the name, so I'm going to do that anyway, because a lot of people would not do that. And now you need to do a search, and what you're going to be doing is a search and replace on the end carriage return. So you do that this way, search, replace, and this is what you're looking for in a file editor that it can find some special character that signifies the, uh, the carriage return. And what I want to convert that to is not so important right now, but I want it to be a end quote space slash B space setup carriage return. And then this whole thing here Go down and copy. Stick that there. Paste. And then one more quote. Now when I hit now, I have to be in the right file. I go to the top of this and hit replace all. Everything but the first line gets set up correctly with one small caveat. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all those there looking for this kind of standard that I've got things in quotes. You don't need to do that if your names have been correct. And you don't need the .wg either if your names are correct. So you'll see file naming is important and this is one of the reasons why. So I'm just going to now finally go in here and grab just everything to there. Copy. Right click. Paste. And this is then showing you a flat ASCII editor. This is all laid out the same way, and now you can do file. If you look at this, this should all run correctly. This should be all run one after the other if your script file is correct. Script file is just a set of instructions. Anything you've done in CAD from day one, that is why I teach um, with the commands, not just the icons. It's really tough to script to icons. It's possible um, and necessary, but it is not um, you know, it's not something that most of us can do. So what I'm going to do here, uh, and in the latest AutoCAD, it's called the report. We'll see you know. All right, file. I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save it as 11.bat. I won't tell you where this goes, but I'm going to stick it here. You're going to save it as a batch file. BAT 11.bat is a batch file, which you can then click on, and it will run that series of commands. So I'm going to hit save here. And now I'm going to show you what the script file looks like as an example. The script file here is in something called setup.scr, and all that 
he says right now is to do this. And this is the one you have to troubleshoot through more often than not. Zoom. Extent. Make a view. Save it. Save it in a name called Plot. Save the drawing. Yes, under the name it was given. And then quit out of the drawing. Now what you want to do is you want to run this and realize it'll never work completely correctly, but you, this might have been draw some lines, make a view, this might have been um, rescale things, this could have been any set of things that you would want to do consistently to one drawing over and over again. Draw a box, travel traverse, it might be a bunch of data that you bring in. Um, it might be making slide files for doing animation. That's probably one of the most common things to do here is to do this and make slide files with mSlide. Um, kind of old school animation, but it does work. So that's what your script file looks like. And this then would have to be in the same directory as what your thing was. All right, so that is effectively, you know, scripting. Um, script files have to be a .scr, and so when you do them, you have to all of a sudden go into Notepad. I'll just show you how that program works so you can quite understand that if you go into Notepad and you do something like line from 0, 0, 0 to at 100, 100, 0, and then if you do that, immediately to get this to work correctly, you've got to do save as and make sure you change it to all files and then say something like you know, mark, try, dot, scr, and then AutoCAD will know that's a script file um, when you run it. So, so I've done that. That's Notepad. The bad side of Notepad is it does not have, I think it probably has an ability to find carriage returns. It doesn't have the column editor. So what you're looking for predominantly in a flat ASCII editor is find one, get it on your home machines, learn to play around with it, uh, there's one inside of AutoCAD. Notepad++ is highly recommended and it looks great. It's got a lot of great abilities. With the one caveat that we've got to figure out how, not how the column mode works, that's pretty much straightforward. It's got good help, but how it finds a carriage. So, um, check with what you have in your other classes. That's something that we would probably cover in Microsoft Office, but I think we got so much other stuff. The key thing is that when you're dealing with data files, they are flat ASCII files. You do not want gobbledygook. So uh, gobbledygook is things that you can't see, like special characters, like bold. HTML has a lot of that in there. So that said, that's about it. We're going to save this, print it out. You can take a look at it early as I try to put these things through and we trouble strip the strip file. This is trying to set up all the views that you didn't so we can go to the next bit which is the sheet set manager. Thanks for listening. Pounds per second, pascals or pounds per square foot, 
and newton meters or pounds feet should not be outside the realm of that three-second knowledge question. Thanks for listening.